Hello, welcome to Dan Silver channel. If you are enjoying the content, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to stay updated on all my latest videos. Thank you for watching. In this video, we are going to know about the curious sex lives of Neanderthals. Neanderthals are an extinct species or subspecies of archaic humans who lived in Eurasia until about 40,000 years ago. The reasons for the Neanderthals' extinction are not clear yet. Did the humans and Neanderthals have sex with each other? The white Neanderthals had penises of the same size as modern men. This was confirmed by comparing Neanderthals and human genomes. It may sound comforting to a modern guy, but it also suggests another possibility. Neanderthals and our ancestors had sexual relations with each other. After all, their bodies were compatible. Neanderthals had sex with humans. Our ancestors didn't date, they raped each other. We must also be aware that 100,000 years ago, our ancestors didn't engage in dating before having sex. Instead, sex was often akin to rape, especially between competing human subspecies. It's important to acknowledge that while Neanderthals developed their own language, it differed significantly from the language of the modern human, creating a significant language barrier for non-rape relationships. Therefore, it is more likely that each group of our ancestors kidnapped pre-reproductive or reproductive age women from each other. Today, every human carries around 2-4% to 4 Neanderthal genes, with the exception of those of just African ancestry. Neanderthals and modern humans had the same ancestors. We need to debunk the myth that Neanderthals were our direct ancestors and that we evolved from them. In fact, Neanderthals and modern humans live alongside each other after evolving from common ancestors around 500,000 years ago. The Neanderthals migrated into Europe 300,000 years ago and approximately 60,000 years ago, modern humans also migrated to the same region. Neanderthals had sex with their nieces and daughters. Genetic sequencing of Neanderthals remains suggest that they practice incest, making it usual for an uncle and niece within a Neanderthal tribe to have children. Neanderthals lived in a small and isolated communities. This led to a lot of inbreeding between them. However, as the European royal families suffering from hemophilia could attest inbreeding is detrimental as it prevents the elimination of harmful genes. Consequently, Neanderthals began to have children with physical and mental disabilities. The research from 2016 suggests that Neanderthals had at least 40% lower fitness on average compared to humans because of inbreeding. Having sex with humans helped Neanderthals to survive longer. Our ancestors met the Neanderthals around 60,000 years ago. They began having sex with each other for the next 20,000 years, until the Neanderthals became extinct around 40,000 years ago. At their peak, the Neanderthal population was around 70,000 individuals. However, inbreeding caused their population to drop to between 1,500 and 3,500 females of reproductive age around 70,000 years ago. Contrary to the popular belief that the humans exterminated the Neanderthals, the humans actually prolonged the existence of the Neanderthals. Neanderthals and humans could have babies. Their babies were healthy and fertile. Because of inbreeding, the Neanderthal population was almost extinct. Upon the first contact with our ancestors, the arrival of humans actually helped Neanderthals survive for at least 20,000 years. By mating with Homo sapiens, Neanderthals benefited from mixing their genes with humans, resulting in healthier children. Interestingly, in the past, having random sex with strangers was practiced by many isolated societies, 
such as Eskimos in Greenland or Tibetans in order to avoid inbreeding. If you enjoyed the content, please like the video and subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching.